uh, earlier about the latest research. So we always like to take time to talk about mental health on the program, and there's evidence that those diagnoses mean just as much for your physical health as other risk factors. A recent study puts depression and anxiety at the same level as obesity and smoking. So we wanted to ask our medical expert, Dr. Mandira Mera, about that. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Great to be here. These numbers are rather shocking. I mean, we're looking at a 65% yeah. increased odds for some of these things. Exactly. And you know, when you go to your favorite doctor, Dr. Mera, <laughs> uh, we ask you questions like, what's your weight? How much have you been working out? Have you cut back on smoking or quit? But when's the last time that your favorite doctor said, are you anxious? Are you depressed? And how are you doing from a mental health perspective? So this is something we talk about all the time on the show, and more and more studies are showing this is so important to our health. Not just our mental health and our everyday being, but things like hypertension, diabetes, heart attacks, stroke, arthritis, back pain, and headaches. These were just some of the six or seven things looked at at a very large study, about two, 3,000 people were looked at and it showed that people that had higher risks of heart attack uh, stroke by 64 65 percent also had higher uh, self-reported rates of anxiety and depression and so there's always a chicken egg phenomenon and what came first that kind of thing mm -hmm. but what we do know is there is a very strong correlation and despite having this strong correlation we very rarely do a good job paying attention to it both perhaps as physicians also just as a system and as a society so this can not only cut health care costs significantly, but can also be life-saving to really have some insight into treating these mental health conditions. Wow. Yeah, most definitely. Well, yeah. uh, we want to talk to you too, and maybe this is the reason I've been snacking on the Christmas cookies a little yeah. more uh, <laughs> intensively, but there has been a link recently between a lack of sleep and craving junk food, and it does not take long for that lack of sleep to settle no, no, in before no. we are craving that stuff. It can be as little as being sleep deprived for about a night. <sighs> and so we always think, oh, well, if I'm not chronically sleep deprived, what's that one night of staying up going to do? But unfortunately, we've known for some time now that sleep deprivation and weight gain go hand in hand. Our body mass index, that BMI number starts going up. And then of course all of the other disease risk factors go up as well. Why is that? We've often thought it's sort of endocrine or hormonally mediated. There's a specific hormone called ghrelin and we think that that spikes when we get decreased sleep. What this study showed was also very interesting. It looked at brain images called functional MRIs or fMRIs and it showed that the reward centers in the brain. So think of when you have your favorite piece of chocolate cake or or for some it's the cigarette, whatever your vice is, those reward centers in the brain, um, like the amygdala, actually fired at an increased rate when we were sleep deprived and when we had that food response. Hmm. The other bad thing is it's not just bad for your health, but also bad for your wallet. Uh, people were willing to spend more money on food when they had that sleep deprivation. So this is maybe something that um, different markets are able to take advantage of. But the bottom line is it's right after the holidays. I know you have all the yummy leftovers in the fridge. You're still hanging out with friends and family, perhaps some late nights. but. Getting a good night's sleep, as we always say, can also help you lose weight, stay healthy, just in time for those New Year's resolutions. <laughs> so join a gym membership, but also um, get a full night's sleep. Not exactly good news for us. Yeah, I know. I know. We'll, we'll, take just, our have, break. we'll just have to resist a little bit more. Exactly. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. Mara. Great to be here.